<laughs> We're Handsome Furs. You're watching London Calling. London Calling, not the UK. London, Ontario. Handsome Furs, the love child of Wolf Parade co-founder Dave Beckner and his wife and writer Alexei Perry. Unfortunately, the band called it quit in May of this year. Now, they're deciding to keep the man a private, which we can respect, but luckily, Drew caught up with them last summer when they were at North by Northeast. So not only do we have for you an unseen interview, but unseen footage of their Call of the Office show also last summer. Handsome Furs, 2006 to 2012. I feel that what separates you guys from any indie rock band is that you accent, not in a French accent, right? but in a, a very emotional way, you accent the things that you're trying to get across. Is that, has it always been more important than the content of what you say? Yeah, no, I mean the content of course is important, but I've, I've always you know, personally believed that like uh, rock music, like the language of rock music, the lyrics, if you listen to somebody like Joe Strummer, the way he says something is often as important or more important than the precise words that he's picking. He's not trying to impress anybody with his intellect, you know? Right. He's, he's getting across an emotion and trying to make a connection with the audience. For me, I think we, you know, we've just been touring so much that uh, we realized the kind of band we wanted to be, which was to be, a, you know, a, a aggressively dance ready. <laughs> It's a different world in terms of trying to play, say, in Russia or Spain versus U the UK. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the UK has its own music scene that's really, uh, it's really singular to the UK. You know, I, I've never really been anywhere else in the world like it, where uh, it's such a small place geographically, but they have proportionally so many bands and yeah it's so yeah. competitive a lot of so. it is people eating each other to get ahead you know which I mean I think we've had we've been fortunate to have good shows in London and in other places in the UK but I feel like a lot of the bands that we have played with really struggle to get ahead in that in that scene yeah there's a real media cycle in the UK where like you know bands will get talked about constantly for about yeah like Alexa said two to three months yeah. and then something subtly happens where the press just turns on them viciously and it, the bands that actually continue to have careers there are the bands that can make it through that somehow navigate through it and luckily we've managed to just kind of dodge our way through it <laughs> luckily we've managed to stay completely under the radar there like completely yeah, right. unfamous yeah. Yeah, so yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. are we so And the fact that, and though it pays me to treat you unkind, that lyric. Will 
always stick with me. It'll always resonate. I don't know why you wrote it. I don't know. I don't care about what it means. You don't have to explain it. I just I want you to know it. Every time you you say those words on an album or in live, it's just like. Whoa. Oh, thanks. Ah, thank you. It makes thank me you. shiver. I, I'm gonna cry. Thank we gotta change the topic. I put all of my heart and soul into this band and and all of my you know mental energy into this band and into performing and I think it would be a total disservice to somebody if we were to roll into say a place like Poznan, Poland, a town of like 25,000 people and play in a 100 capacity venue and give any less than we give when we go play like Webster Hall in New York. Yep. That would be a disservice to like my art and a disservice to you know what we set out to do and also it would be really shitty to the people who paid money to go see the show so we try and I mean and I think we do a pretty good job depending on how tired we are every day we put the same amount of energy into every stage that we get on and we try and do our best every time it sounds simple but it's I think it's very basic and I think I learned it from bands like Fugazi and uh, yeah. Nirvana when they were starting out, you know, these like Godspeed, Godspe yeah. Godspeed huge, yeah. yeah, punk bands, you know, that even if they're playing in a shitty basement for five people, they were giving absolutely all they had into this performance and, and I think that's, that's what makes a good band, so. Hey Rogers, my cell phone turned itself on in my bag by accident when I was in Europe and uh, I got a lot of roaming fees now, but I never actually used it. So can I get that waved, please? Thank you. Any time is a good time to visit Covent Garden Market. Covent Garden Market is the heart of London. 130 King Street, open seven days a week. Let us put a smile on your face.